Hello, my darlings. It is Dion Dean back with another haul, and I have a special treat for you guys. I know how much you loved my last Salvation Army by the Pound haul, and so I went back. And this time, this haul is a teensy bit bigger than the last haul. So I'm actually going to split it up. This one is going to be all handbags, and then I'm going to do a second one that will be all shoes. So in an effort for this not to be a 50 minute video, let's get into it. Okay. So, um, you guys, if you don't know, if this is the first time that you're watching my, um, channel, or if you haven't seen the other Salvation Army by the pound video, um, Salvation Army Chicago here, um, the West Humboldt Park. Um, location on 4052 Grand, uh, West Grand. On Wednesday mornings from 9 to 12, they have a by the pound morning. Um, I really wish it was a Saturday or Sunday because we would just blow it out. But it is Wednesday morning. Um, everything is 87 cents a pound. And so it's like a section off to the side of the regular store. Um, and so I find, found out about this amazing event on their Facebook page. So definitely go to the Salvation Army Chicago Facebook page and find out more information. Um, but yeah, so one day I was just flipping through Facebook and it said buy the pound sale Wednesday 9 to 12. And I was like... Yeah, so this is what I got from that sale. So everything here, the total between the shoes and the handbags came up to $40. It's a lot of stuff for $40. I really lucked out. So let's get into the handbags. 87 cents a pound, $40 total. Just want to make sure that I cover that. So the first thing that I want to show you is this striped um, coach whistlet. And I need to get it fixed because this is broken, but it's in really good condition. So this was the first thing that I found, Coach Wristlet. I'm going to try and go as slow as I can without being too slow because I don't want to make it a long video. So this is a, I don't know how to say this, Tinanello bag, but it's leather. So that's all I cared about. So <laughs> It's funny because I can pronounce all the big names, but the regular names, I'm like, oh, no. So this is a leather Tinanello bag, I guess it's called. Um, you guys can help me with that if I'm not pronouncing it right. And so this was another bag that I got really clean on the inside. And so this, of course, is going to be stocking my Poshmark and um, eBay for like the month of November, December, so that I don't really have to think about it too much. Um, this is a crossbody fossil bag. So you guys that are thrifters and if you're reselling, fossil always does well for me. Um, I think because they, they keep their value, not I think, they keep their value because they were really good leather. So this is a, uh, not a vintage, a fossil crossbody bag in really great condition. And so if you're fellow reseller fossil is also is a really good um brand for you to carry and as always i carry stuff that i would wear because if i don't like it i don't think anybody else is gonna like it i know that's kind of bougie of me but it is what it is and so these are all pieces that i would wear this is the one of the best finds of the day this is a mark by mark jacobs black leather bag and yes 87 cents a pound <laughs> And like I said, you know, I'm always saying, I don't know who's donating this stuff, but it is what it is. And you can see on the insides and on the hardware, the hardware is a bit tarnished. And the, right here, it's a bit of damage on there. But seriously, you're either going to pay $4.98 in the stores or you're going to pay $0.87 cents a pound. Or so this is probably like a dollar. Child go dig. <laughs> The sports sack. Let's move over here. Move over here. So this has been actually a really good brand for me on eBay. It doesn't sell like you know, seventy, eighty dollars, but it's a consistent good seller for me as well as the um, Longchamp bags. And so whenever I see this, I always pick this up. Um, just a regular blah blah blah. The sports sack crossbody bag, really good condition. Now these two pieces. Um, let me segue and say that I am so in love with it's Hadrian and Hadrian, sorry, and I'm going to link um one of the videos that I really liked of his where he was hey darling if you're watching, um, where he was repairing a bag. And so I got these bags with him in mind because I'm like, I wonder if he can fix these. So this is a vintage Gucci <coughs> excuse me. 
a vintage Gucci bag, but the strap is broken. And so I could just cut this off and wear it as a um, clutch, but I reached out to him to see if it's something that he could fix. So we're still in the, I, well, no, did I ask him about this one? I did ask him about this one. I don't remember what he said about this one, but, but yeah, this is a vintage Gucci bag that I found, but I did ask him about this one because I really thought that he could bring it back to life. If anybody could bring it back to life, he's like my Superman when I watch his videos. Um, but if you see, this is a Kate Spade bag that has been really, really damaged, um, just really, really worn. And so I reached out to him to see if it was something that he could fix. And he gave me so much knowledge um, on how you can fix it if you decide if I decided to fix it. But it's a Kate Spade diaper bag. And so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. If I'm just going to sell it and let somebody else who is well versed in fixing this kind of stuff do it. Um, but yeah, I'll link on his video so that you can see like what I'm talking about as far as repair because he is just a master. So let's move on. Sorry, my allergies are doing something today. Please forgive me. All right. So this is a crossbody bag from uh, Massimo. And so the reason why I like this, um, I don't know if you guys know about the Cambridge satchel bag, Cambridge, I think it's called satchel bag, but they came out with this style of bag. And so every time I see something that looks like it, I grab it. Um, and I always say I'm going to keep it, but then I never do. So this was just one of those things where I grabbed it and it's just because I like it. Let's see. Oh, uh, where do I want to go next? Okay. So J. Crew and Banana Republic, I feel like are the two most slept on brands. I feel like they do really well when it, especially Banana Republic, they do shoes and bags really well. Um, and J. Crew as well. I think, you know, I love a designer bag, honey, but I also just love a good leather bag. And so when I saw this bag from J. Crew, I was like, yes, God, this feels so fabulous. Um, I just, I had to have it. I think this and the Marc Jacobs bag are, are my two big finds. Um, but this just feels so good. And it's a J. Crew bag. Just going off of, you know, if we would have just picked this up and not look at the brand, you would definitely think this was like a $1,000, $2,000 bag. I promise you. But it is J. Crew. Um, and it's just, you know, plain on the inside. I'm still debating what I want to do with this because... The strap is a little short, not short, but I, you know, I'm going to wear it as a crossbody and it hits me like underneath the boobage. And so I don't know if it's something that I'm going to keep because right now I'm all about the crossbody, you know, walking around the city with Riley in the stroller, me just having something hanging off my arm is just not it. And so I'm thinking what I want to do with this, but I really, 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 really love this bag. It's such a unique bag and it feels so good. I'm hoping that you can tell like the luster and just the, the feel of it. Um, as you guys know, my last video, I talked about the feels. I love feeling bags. All right. So next, this is Perlina. Once again, leather bag. I love leather. So this is what I'm going to sell in my store because it's me. I love leather. Um, and really good condition, crossbody bag. Always attracted to the crossbody bags. And I love the detail here. I think that's so unique. So pretty. And then we're almost to the bottom. So this is a bag. I didn't know anything about this brand, but you know my trusty eBay app. Um, this is a T-A-N-O, Tano bag um, that I found. I think I'm going to show you like a what's in my thrift bag because I think that'd be cute. Because I literally like took out my app, looked, saw what it was, saw it had some value, and then put it in the car. So this bag is a Tano bag, leather bag. It's of the same vein, I feel like, because um, when I first picked it up, I thought it was fossil. So it's of the same vein as like the fossil bags. Um, genuine leather. Gen oh, look at this. I love that detail. That just feels good and looks good. So yeah, the bag is a, is a bit worn, and, but I, I feel like if you're a leather lover, then you want a leather bag that's worn. Like that's when you see the, through the true character of the bag. So it does have some rub, like it's been rubbed on jeans. Can you see that? But it just gives it some character. And then this bag is another bag that I, maybe I need to go into like rehabbing bags because I just love this kind of stuff. So this is another, just a tote bag. 
and they actually just end up donating donating this back. Um, but this is a tote bag, black tote bag, but it has the separation of the leather once again. And so I'm going to see what I do with this bag. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I'll probably just end up redonating it back. And then, <coughs> last but not least, oh no, there's one more. Um, so I have this big Buddha bag. And you guys know how I feel about the oversized bags, honey. This is so unique and so cool. And it has like, I don't know if you remember like a few years ago when, and I don't know if they still do it, but Chanel had like the velted puffer jacket type bags. And that's what this reminded me of, especially, and the, um, the finish reminded me of the Michael Canage um, with Christian Dior. If you're a Dior lover, then you know that they have like this kind of quilted type of thing going on on some of their bags. And so I really like that. Just reminded me of Chanel and Dior, which I love. You guys already know who I am. So, all right. And then last but not least is this Kate Spade bag. Now this is well loved. This is definitely not in, you know, like a new condition, but it's still got a lot of wear in it. And so I know that there'd be some Kate Spade lovers like me, um, I adore Kate Spade, that, you know, would appreciate something like this. So this is going back, not back, this is going up in the store. This was actually the first bag that I dug up. And I was like, if this is an indication of what's, what I'm going to find today, then I'm in good luck. So there we go. Kate Spade bag. So that, this is part one. We've gone through part one. We've gone through the bags. Um, so as I said, I spent $40 and the bags alone cost a lot more than forty dollars. If you, I mean, this bag alone would be like what, one hundred and fifty dollars. So that goes to show you, I spent forty dollars, and this is just a handbag. So stay tuned. I'm going to be bringing you shoes next. Um, love you. We never pay retail. Follow me on I at I am Dion Dean because this is this is old news to you if you follow me um, on Instagram and look at my Insta stories because I took you guys with me. Um, and so if you want to go on my thrift journey as I'm journeying through the stores, follow me at I am Dion Dean. And of course, as always, we never pay retail. I'll leave links to It's Hadrian, one of his repair videos, as well as links to my Poshmark and my eBay store. Love you. Bye.